Chris, what happened to the couch? Dad dragged it out on the lawn because he said that's what rednecks do. <laughs> Cockroach infestations, Pee-wee's Playhouse, and redneck lawn chairs? What? <laughs> Get ready to laugh because today we're gonna break down some of the most hilarious family guy real estate and housing scenes you've ever seen. That's right. Hey folks, I'm Mark Magsit, a local real estate expert here in San Diego. Let's bring on the first clip and don't forget to subscribe. Ah, what is that smell? <laughs> oh my God, Brian got sprayed by a skunk. If you've ever dealt with the skunk, vinegar, Hydrogen peroxide and tomato juice can help get rid of that nasty, horrible smell. Tell me in the comments below, have you ever dealt with a skunk and what did you use to get rid of the smell? No, not against the wall. You're gonna scare off the cockroaches. <laughs> oh, that's not good. They were 70% of the structure of this house. There are a couple different termites. They definitely can, can mess with the integrity of your home. They literally will eat through the wood. With time, any of those support beams and or structural beams that you have, if those are compromised by termites that are not treated on a regular basis, you could potentially see some, some shifting and probably some collapsing if you let it go long enough. So always make sure you see termite droppings, you see any termites, get a professional pest control company out there. <laughs> Peter, please tell me this is covered by our insurance. Sorry, Lois. It doesn't cover acts of dog. <laughs> I highly, highly recommend having homeowner's insurance and actually revisiting your policy on a regular basis is, is, is suggested. That way you can make sure you have the right coverages in the right place. You can do umbrella policies. Hey, Lois, come in here and see what I did with the money your dad gave me. Oh my God, he turned the den into Pee-wee's Playhouse? Come on, get up! I never thought I would see Peter dressed up as Pee-wee Herman. He always had that funny, <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't do it, but he had that crazy little giggle and that, that always a red bow tie. You know, I guess if you have a large enough house and you have a lower area that you want to turn to Pee-wee's Playhouse. But if I came home and my wife Mary had transitioned our guest bedroom into Pee-wee's Playhouse, we'd probably have some conversation. I know my boys Mason Miles would probably absolutely love it. You know what? I don't think it's for everyone. Knock off your napping. It's a crazy messed up place where anything can happen. There's a chair that freaking talks. Hey, look. That's so classic, a talking chair. There was one house in La Jolla that actually, the chair, obviously you're basic reclining. It had a massage in it. It also had like a little section that popped out for your drink holder. It had a plug-in for your station. It had something that popped up so you could work with your, your uh, laptop. It was like the fanciest bidet you've ever seen for a chair. It was awesome and, and used on a regular basis. <laughs> Chris, what happened to the couch? Dad dragged it out on the lawn because he said that's what rednecks do. <laughs> hey, Meg, come here. Have a seat. I mean, you got to love his thought with the, the kiddie pool. Probably filled it up with a bag of ice and some water. We've all been there, done that. Luckily, where we live now, we do have a pool. We're really close to the ocean. You buy one of those over at your local, you know, discount store. $19.99, blow that bad boy up. They're loads of fun. Um, we actually got one for our dog. She hated it, so <laughs> we gave it to the neighbor. But, you know, nice way to keep cool when you don't have AC and you're outside. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck, <laughs> which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. They continue to push the envelope on this show. The funny part about having a couch in the middle of the you know, yard, back in college, we did that all the time. And it wasn't about being a redneck. It was about just enjoying comfort in the outdoors. We'd drink a couple cold beers, yell at, yell at girls as they walk by back in Ashland, Oregon, and just have some fun. Wait, this is where you dropped Brian off? This is a TikTok house. How do you know that? Every room in the house is glowing from ring lights. <laughs> 
the old TikTok room. We got a new house! Kind of reminds me of uh, the room I'm in right now. You gotta love it. Gotta have proper lighting. The funny part about that is that that's the world that we live in now and you know, it's everywhere. Luckily with like the new phones and stuff like that, you don't necessarily need it, but proper sound, proper lighting, cameras, all that stuff makes for great videos. Obviously like this one that you're watching. Thank you, Jen. The TikTok room, lit up. Imagine that electric bill. Can I help you? We're looking for our dog. Dog? I think Chase brought a dog to Dangerous Stunt Beach to do a dangerous stunt. Oh no, we gotta help him. Did you hear that, Stewie? Already on your phone? The world's up here, Stewie. <laughs> your mind's a prison, and only you hold the key. We absolutely love our cell phones. It's created such ease, you know, you need to figure out where you're going, what restaurant should we eat at, what should we do this, how do I do that? It's at your fingertips. The only hard part is setting the dang thing down. I think you just have to limit it. Our goal is we put those away when we have dinner and we give, we try to give like a limited amount of time, have dinner, chat, figure out how the day was, and maybe even just get outside and, and, and enjoy the great outdoors. When you look at this on the outside, the rope swing, that's the classic old school look, but then you have that cool little stairwell, the entrance sign out front, the kind of nice thatched roof, kind of a mid-century feel. I mean, beautiful grass all the way around it. I, I like it, I like it. Hey Stewie, you said you wanted us to see it. Whoa, what happened in here? <laughs> that place is sick. Okay, <laughs> okay, now we're talking. Stewie, this is incredible. Oh uh, yeah, you like? The old place just didn't really, didn't have much of a vibe, you know? Well, it sure as hell has a vibe <laughs> now. That is a 100% treehouse, man cave, she shed. The fact that they incorporated that right through the middle of that big old tree, TV, bar area, weight room. I, I don't know if I'd ever leave, to be honest with you. Yep, there he is, Nolan, Nolan Ryan, Von Ryan's Express, eh? Oh, I happen to be over at Costco today and I grabbed some of these quiches. You guys ever try these? Ooh, very cool. Love these things. Gracias, Stewie. <laughs> you gotta love that he had the quiches ready from Costco. I mean, you gotta love the samples at Costco. They get you every time. A lot of times when we do open houses or broker caravans, the smell of fresh baked cookies in the oven is gonna convince people to buy that house because they walk in and they're like, oh, this reminds me of home. So I've done that once. I didn't sell the house, but it sure did smoke it. <laughs> I sure had like nine leftover cookies that I took back to the fam, so they were happy. I can't lose all my money in my house. Then I'll have to move into some depressing divorced guy apartment. As you can see, we have plenty of cabinet space for your plate. The oven, of <laughs> course, is just decorative. Mm, seems okay. Do you have any other units available? This is our only one. I hope you're happy, Marsha! We might have something upstairs. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm never gonna be there luckily, but I, I love how the dude says, Here, here's the cabinet for your plate, and then the oven that doesn't work because we as divorcees or whatnot are not supposed to cook. I love it. <laughs> All right, let me know if you have any other funny real estate scenes from your favorite shows in the comments below. Send them my way. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button and smack the like button for more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching.